Morning. Hat spot system to hat spot system. Um, hi puppy. Um, today is December 29th, 122920. 20. Um, we took a pause break in the middle of our morning inspiration, uh, affirmation and stuff to make a video. It always amazes me how on point, um, tarot and our little oracle deck cards are like all the time that's why we want to like keep doing it every day and every morning but you know sometimes it just gets hard we really want to do some more uh dit tarot for self and others um but that takes a lot of energy to do so we haven't done that in a while first we need to get our house clean though and then work on our tarot and things. Yeah, you can totally see. I have a little mark, a little bump, a mark. It's a mark, but it's like a little, like a little haha -ha face blemish thingy. Anyway, random morning randomness. Hi. Um, I wish like this light back there like yeah see like I need that to go away that light back there but then if I turn it off it'll look too dark in the background and then maybe I can just do this for as long as I can yeah so look I have a little bit of muscle coming out I have like no muscles but anyway pretty sure too that um we've lost a lot of weight we don't have a scale or we don't we don't even know anybody that has a scale to weigh on pretty sure we're like down to like maybe 115 or maybe a little lower than 120 pretty sure that's not good we need I need to figure out who our eating people are well pizza is one of our eating people he just came up but he's you know been sad lately where's my vape I need to smoke because I had like two cigarettes when I finished those already act stop it yeah I got a vape join the cool kids club hopefully it'll help me quit smoking cigarettes or hopefully I have the money to keep up buying the juice for it so I'm trying to get it even I'm like OCD about this like it's not even and then it's not going through to the other side so, I don't know what to do about that. I'm trying to make it go up that way. But it won't. No matter how I try to rotate it. Anyway. Yeah. So, this is what morning randomness is. Or it looks like in the morning. What can we... Well, one of our cards that we got this morning for our inspiration affirmation thingy, <clears throat> confirmation also, let me just put it that way, is, um, so we got our little, little bat ears and they're lace, so they're pretty, but we're going to wear a beanie today because it's kind of cold, but just for the video and to look cute, we wanted to wear this. Yes. Hi. Hi, puppy. I know. Um... <laughs> One of our cards is a uh, break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. And we were like, oh my God, that's perfect. Like, oh my universe, that's perfect right now. Exactly what we're going through. I feel like I'm too close to the video camera. Ooh. Of course, I got a new phone, so it's... uh wacky the camera from it you know we haven't gotten used to anyway keep getting off track that's okay we don't have a point to this anyway that's the whole point of morning randomness um yeah so like let's see you are being called to heal your family line or free yourself from living the life of your ancestors perfect 
we are completely different than our family. So I thought that was pretty awesome. Anyway, we could go in more into that, but just leave it at that. Zira. <coughs> That was made too hard on that one. <coughs> Zira, what are you doing? There's a good boy. What are you doing? What are you doing, huh? Where's your toy? Your toy. Ah, what, what? Ah, ah. I'm attacking my arm. All right, here. Want it? Want it? Go get it. Good boy. We're learning fetch. He knows how to like sit and he comes to me, which is good. We've been teaching him that. Um, he knows how to like put his head down now because he always has this problem of like licking, like whenever you're going to like either pet him or you go to like put his leash on him, his little tongue is just a licking, 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 licking away. Um, it really gets on my nerves. So I made him stop and like I put his head down and like head down, you know, every time. And now he does it. It's so good. We're so proud of him. Um, yeah, we need to clean our house, hang up all of our clothes so we can get back into our tarot and being like set, which our meds are like refilled and we got our ADD meds back. So we were out of that for like two, maybe three weeks, I want to say. So it's pretty difficult those three weeks to get shit done, obviously, which we're behind on now. But anyway, that's cool. Did I drink my tea yet? Mmm. I still have that's why. Mmm. It's a spicy hibiscus. It's so good. I never realized that I would like hibiscus or anything like that or all these different flavored teas, but they're so good. And then because we haven't washed our dishes either, we don't have our normal uh, teacups or coffee cups. So we have like this super small one. So we're only putting one tea bag in it at a time. Not like our big mugs that we usually have when we put like three tea packets in one thing, you know. I don't know what else to talk about for this morning randomness. That's pretty much it, I guess. Oh, we just almost said something negative, but then our uh, we got another card, and it just popped in our head, too, so we wouldn't say that negative thing. It says, when we introduce joy to a situation, we change the vibrational frequency of what's happening around us. So, we're going to introduce joy into our life and the, our situations that we're working, getting it all taken care of as far as our bills and things like that, and... We got to see our daughter for Christmas, so we're happy about that. We're hoping that maybe we get to spend a little bit of the new year with her, celebrating. I'm going to ask my family if we can do it this way, if she's going to stay up that long from like 11 to 1. So we can like have the rest of this year together and then start off the new year really great and start it off together. So that, you know, we can start the new year off right. Um... Riker is getting more comfortable, getting more into himself. Um, okay, this is a weird thing. I was telling, we were talking to our friend Chris, and we love Chris because he always asks like a ton of shit ton of questions, you know, about us and our DID and all that. It's really awesome. And um, so we were talking to him. And where was I going with that? Oh, yeah. We were telling him that Riker is actually okay. Like, when you realize that you're an altar in a person's brain, it's kind of hard to deal with because, like, you know how you look on the inside and then you go and, like, look in the mirror and you're like, I don't look anything like I do on the inside. What the fuck is this? What body am I in? You know, um, Riker is finally 
accepting the fact that he's in a female body which is pretty cool now he actually kind of likes that now when before he was like why couldn't I be in a guy's body and you know be my gay guy self and we had been trying to tell him like even though you're in a female body you can still be our gay male protector like that's cool it's neat and interesting actually so he's finally accepting that and growing into that role also um which is really neat which is uh is really funny if I could explain some more I'll have to do it one day I really need to create a story time I don't know why because story time would be just us talking about random shit anyway but I feel like if I had story time, there'd be, like, a specific thing that I'm talking about. And I would be able to write it down and then do, like, a story time about it. Um, I'm almost out of vape juice. That's not going to be good. Yeah. Riker was with us at work out a lot yesterday um really felt that strongly so that was cool I wonder who's gonna be there today I mean of course Riker is still there you know but whoever's gonna be more maybe Riker will be in the front more again today cool mm. I got this ah. it's a little bell and it says, ring for a kiss. And it's so cute. So we really only got this for like one person that we like thought of as soon as we saw it. So that's kind of cool. So we need to use it again whenever our friend comes over. Because, yeah, we need some more kisses or whatever. Anyway. Some of our altars are growing, um, like they have their child stage whenever they're like littles, and then we have a few of our littles that grow into like teenage years, which they have a different name usually for their altar that's, um, you know, grown, and then if they're older than like teen years, also 20s and 30s, they'll have a name, and then like if they're over 40, they'll have a different name. So that's up to four or five names that one altar can have. Depending on if they want to and how they grow and things. Yeah, so that's pretty interesting to figure out. Like I said, Samantha and Stephanie are pretty much stuck at nine. If they grew a little bit or if they grew some, I mean, that'd be cool. But like I said, too, they're still kind of in the back. Uh-uh. No. Play with your toy. Play with your toy. I have like a slight headache right here, but that's because we didn't eat supper last night and then we were drinking, which we actually didn't drink a lot or a lot as we normally do. But it was just beer. So we think that kind of like messes up a little bit when we really like shots and tequila and like Patron and Don Julio and 1800 and uh we've got, ah don't you chew on that that is an electric cord no you're gonna electrocute yourself and die and then I will cry and not have you no don't do that ah no get your toy head down head down head down right now Head down. Head down. You forgot how to do that already? Head down. Good boy. Here. All right. Here's a toy. One toy. Here's a toy. Here's a toy. Here's a toy. Go get it. Good boy. Wow, that took forever. Yeah, so we need like a schedule. No, we need to start making ourselves a schedule and like sticking to it, but it's hard right now. So maybe we will set some New Year's revolutions this year and be like set a schedule and fucking stick to it. Like we need to exercise. 
more and start exercising again which we don't know how it's gonna go plus it's the winter so it's like sucks because it's cold outside we don't like to exercise at all much less in the cold or in the extreme heat which down here is like it's either hot one day or it's cold the next so we're you know trying to make us exercise is like fun us trying to make ourselves exercise is fun Yeah, I think that's all that's in our brain. There's probably a lot more. It's just not coming to the surface or doesn't feel as important to say, I guess. Don't really know. Oh, so when we got our piercing, we got our date pierce. See, you can kind of see it, which is like inside this thing. Um, apparently, that's your date. Um, when we went to get... Our, this is our first piercing. We got our date pierced. He did apparently he did it in the wrong spot. This other place he did it on the outside, and he's supposed to do it on the inside. So now we're trying to figure out if we want to leave it like tilted and kind of kind of cornered, or if we want to make it completely even and get the actual date in here, and then on this side get it pierced up here like to match that. Um, we don't know yet. Oh. Hello, the phone's out because I moved my knee and I have my little table that it's at, my mini altar actually. Um, because sometimes we like it that it's cat cornered and then sometimes it really gets on our nerves and we really want the both pierce to like make it match. Um, oh, and then we also know what we want back here, like on your spine <laughs> bone. Where it feels like your neck and your back, like, meet the one that's right there. Stop it. Um, we know what we want to get tattooed right there. We want to get this so it'll be, like, in front and it's going to be behind, which is kind of cool. So, we want that, too. We're hoping that we can start making, you know, we can, like, get rich and make money and so we can get tattoos and piercings and stuff and help the world out and give to the needy. Stop chewing on my chair. Because since we haven't had money barely for ourselves, we haven't been able to, like, leave money at the drive-thru at McDonald's or uh, bless somebody at a restaurant, you know, or, like, bless somebody at a gas pump. Stop chewing on my chair. He's chewing on my wooden chair, and there goes my phone again. So, um, yeah, we're at no we're hoping to get that going yeah all right this has been like 18 21 seconds 18 minutes 22 seconds now of just you know morning randomness talking it's great from hot spot system so we're gonna go finish our morning aspiration stuff plug in our phone Listen to our music. Oh, I forgot the fucking sound bowl. I didn't sound the same. There we go. That's a little bit better. Oh, and we forgot to do incense. Oh my god. We are totally slacking, y'all. Oh, it's this purple color again. That's kind of cool. Um. Yeah, we're totally slacking. But, you know, it's cool. Everybody has struggles, and we're going to get our life together one day is how we feel. Or maybe, you know, maybe we're just never going to get it together, and that's just going to be a part of, like, who we are, which is cool with us. So, you know, yeah, now we're starting our day off right, I guess. Um, this is now a 19-minute video. Okay. Peace out, Hotspot System. Love you, Hotspot System. Anybody else watching that happens to click, you know, we love you too. It's great. We try to love everybody because we're we're lovers, not fighters. We're lovers, not haters. You know, fun. Yeah. Skyla and Rika are really here now. They wanted to say a little bit.
Or actually, we just ought to get this out. They just wanted to talk like this. Come out and say hi and bye all at the same time because we are now 20 minute video and we are now going to go for real. All right, peace out, bye.